Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. So I'm going to run you out a review on the 2022 Trangia Triangle. So it's been updated this year with a new uh, burner support ring. So we'll get to that in a bit. So those that aren't familiar with the Trangia stove system, they've been around forever. And basically, in the civilian ones, they come in three sizes. So the Trangia 25 series, this is a good system for two or three people. So decent sized pots, cooks in any environment, and it's a bit of a beast. So a lot of hikers go for the uh, the 27 series. Now for me, the pots are less than a litre. Some of them are quoted as a litre, but you can't get them on and off the stove. Workable about 850-900 mil. The newer ones are probably different. This is quite an old one, you can tell by the rivets on. And then back in my carry more mountain racing days, we had the 28 series. So this is a, a little solo pot for one person. Teflon cater fry pan. Sort of, it used to be the go-to for the ultralighters. So, this is the, uh, the new stove. So, came with a little uh, paper tag. Nothing exciting on that, I'll take you some decent pictures. How to assemble. So assembly has changed from the original one due to this modified uh, burner support. So before you would just put it together and push the, the single, well double layer ring in. And slightly this is, I've already had assembled this once so bear with me. So three sheets of uh, stamped stainless steel, bracket it over, that is the base, this is the support. So there's one side in. Two sides in. So there it is assembled. So this redesigned ring, the original ones had two rings. Now I had one of the original ones and on one occasion it actually came loose. So hopefully this is an improvement. So basically you slip it in from the bottom, it's a bit hard to do on camera, line her up with the cutouts and rotate. lined up. So it actually this one protrudes much more than the original from memory. Now I sold the original one. I wasn't particularly thrilled with it. So the box says 115 grams. My scales say 103 grams, lighter than what they're saying. Without the bag I get 87 grams. Now it fits in the mess tin apparently. So to disassemble, let's change it again, they suggest you just pop one corner, slip it apart, so that's easy as. So I see the notes on their website, there's many more different sizes of nest tins, so I don't know which one mine is, it's quite old. But there it is there. She's a dead fit on the mess tin. So that would be cool. I mean, you could put that, that, and the burner in. Now, I did try it on the stove, and it does balance on the three legs, if you want to call them that. So, fits in the mess tin. Now, it will work with all the transu accessories. So, this is the gel burner. I've had no luck with gel fuels. Not just in Transu, in, in Jembal. And the gasket. Now this gasket is a super powerful burner. If Meths is too slow for you, buy one of these. There again, mine's donkey's years old. It's, they've changed since these days. Now, that burner's heavy. So, if you put this together with the burner and the, uh, the base, it's about 300 grams. Well, you can get a lot lighter uh, burners 
if you're just going to be running gas. Even my big boy MSR burner is only 150 grams and you can get a pocket rocket. So if you're going for a quick over, yeah, over nighter and you're running cylinder gas, surely you would just run one of these and put it on any pocket that you wanted. So that I'm not getting, not getting that at all. So, what, one of the things I didn't like about the original one I had was the size of the pan supports. I'll get better at this in a little time. So if you, you're an ultra light in it, you've probably got small pots. Or well, maybe not. I think the, the beauty of this system is if you've got the transier set, you can just pirate out a pot from that and you'll be a go. So that pops in there. So best tin balances, that's nice. My MSR Titan kettle just, I wouldn't be happy with, yeah, yeah that can go pear shape, but it does balance it. Right? I can see my dinner hitting the floor with that. So you've got a Stanley cook set, not working. Now one of my subscribers mentioned their pan stand. So I made a uh, my own version of this some time back, because I didn't want to pop for it. But anyway, so that, on top of that, that's rock solid. So you could use a small cup combined with that if that's what suits you. So the pan stand is 48 grams. So, what do I think? If you've already got the Transier kit, I think it's a pretty good. So. 24 something euros at the moment for me in Australia. We'll have a couple of boil tests and see how it performs. Anyway guys, if you want to hang in for boil tests, that's what's coming up. Okay guys, for consistency I've measured 35 mils of vermethylate spirits. Okay, I've got 500 mils of water directly out of the fridge. That's at 7 degrees Celsius, and the air temperature is currently 17. So I've got my large MSR kettle, not my favourite pot, but it'll do the job. Okay, clear. I'll hit the timer. It's already stove's just bloomed. I normally leave pots off the stove till it blooms. So we'll put that on and I'll cut back to you when we get a boil. Okay, so at five minutes you've got 92 degrees Celsius and five and a half minutes there's the boil. Oh, that's a pretty solid performance. This is the downside of this MSR big tight kettle and the handles are too small. I can still see liquid fuel in the bottom of the burner. So 35 mils was more than we needed. Well more. So what I'll do, I'm going to reset for a, uh, a gas boil with the same parameters and see how quick that is. Okay guys, so we'll put the gas burner in. That should be uh, pretty straightforward. So the designs of these have changed, so this is quite an old one. But normally you've got to make sure that this, this plate here is sitting flat to allow these to, uh, to squeeze in. So I'm just lining up the hose with one of those cutouts. Make sure that's on there. 
and it's locked in there. Pretty straightforward. Hose is coming out clear of the heat shield. Make sure it's turned off before we put the cylinder in. Otherwise that'll be embarrassing. Alright, your block out of the way. Keep that as far away, cylinder as far away unless it's really cold. And you want it closer. It's sitting there. Now this guy has really great heat control. So you can go from really great simmer control to whoa man. Same as before, air temperature is unchanged. 500 mils of water at 7 degrees Celsius, straight out of my fridge. Reset the timer. Alright, so we'll get our pot on. Timer. Crank it up. I expect this to be really quite quick. I might just leave the camera running, edit it for you guys. So you're not bored there, watching me boil water. So one minute we're at 67 degrees Celsius. And two minutes we're at 82. Two and a half minutes we're at 99. So sub two and a half minutes we've got to boil. So Less than half the time on gas, but of course with the cost of gas and the weight of the burner and all that. Get that, drives me nuts. I think this the probe was really hot. Well guys, so the handles are too small on this MSR pot. Not as shiny as it used to be. It's a pretty good stove stand for what it is, it really is. If you've already got a, a transient burner or stove system and you want to go ultra light, this might be a good option for you, it really might. Anyway guys, if you like the content I create, don't forget to like and subscribe, it helps me out greatly. And we'll catch you next time.